We define AI as being the um, effort to synthesize, automate, and optimize the process of converting information into useful and actionable knowledge. Our definition differs from some others um, in that it looks not to place human um, intelligence as being the only means by which one can uh, evaluate intelligence, and also by being intensely practical and this ability to um, convert information into something that is useful and actionable is something that we really care about because that's what allows our companies to engage with something that can be truly transformational. There are lots of different types of AI. Um, AI looks to um, use a number of underlying technologies such as recurrent neural networks, transformers, convolutional neural networks to deliver artificially intelligent solutions in different contexts around the world. Some are specialized in languages, some are specialized for image recognition and interpretation, um, or perhaps um, image generation. Um, but more and more of these artificially intelligent systems are bubbling up into the economy addressing lots of different applications. AI is becoming entrenched in our lives, but the rate at which it's becoming entrenched differs in uh, different applications. Some parts of our lives, such as those of us who use navigation maps to, and maps to, to find our way around, are already using artificially intelligent technologies day in, day out, and oftentimes without really thinking very hard about the extraordinary technology which stands behind the solution which we're engaging with. Other parts of the economy in our lives are as yet untouched from AI. Um, we have a lot to go. There's a lot ahead of us in the artificially intelligent world, and I think that as we look out over the course of the next 10 years, we'll find that more and more of our personal lives and our professional lives will be inflected by the presence of artificial intelligence systems.